Watch out, he's gonna bite you. This doesn't bite. And I told Jeff, I gotta have that fish. I bring gifts, I bring gifts. He's girthy. So come on down to Geyser Pets, rescue the fish that I just dropped off. Aloha, my ohana. It is everybody's favorite Hawaiian fish keeper, Bradamel. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and welcome. Thank you for stopping by. You guys won't be disappointed. Just stay tuned, all right, to the end of this video. You're gonna see one of the most unique, most beautiful, and rare pond fish ever. I promise you, okay? I'm super excited. Big shout out to the guys over at Geyser Pets. Uh, thanks, Jeff, the whole crew out there. Wait till you see this fish that I picked up. I'm super excited to show you guys. If you haven't seen part one yet, I'll leave a card up above. Go check out part one. It'll lead right into part two. And I guess uh, everybody's favorite part of the video was uh, my little boy slamming the door on me as I'm entering Geyser Pets. So let's go back to that footage since it was, uh, it was pretty funny, all right? And I'll see you guys a little bit later, okay? Enjoy this video. Mahalo, guys. There we go. Yep. Hey, can you guys uh, hold the door open for me? Jeez. There he is. There they are. What's up, boys? How's it going? I bring gifts. I bring gifts. Oh, goodness. Whew. Yeah, not bad. Really good fish in great condition. Um, oh, yeah. That's a, is that a pet? Look it. Guys are pets, full of surprises. This is a pet. These aren't pest roaches. Yeah, they're not pests. This is a pet. What is it? Uh, a dubia roach. Oh my gosh, look at that. Beautiful. I cleaned their cage earlier, so they're a little extra frisky today and running oh. around. And it was so much easier to just give them the cricket food. Oh, he's crawling way up my arm. Oh, look at it, it's right there. Ooh, Ooh look at that. Ooh, Ooh give you the eebie jeebies. Here, you can hold it. Wanna hold no. it, Kona? Oh, right you're scared? Your Right You're scared. These, these are the ones that are in the movies, man. That's right. You don't want to hold it, Mikhail? Oh, you, you, they're too scared. They're nice. Look, it doesn't bite. Just gross <laughs> See you later. Joins her How do they look? How do they look? Oh, plecos. They look amazing. Oh, cool. That ghost knife is oh, loving this beautiful. planet tank. He's already oh, is it hiding? wrapping himself in here. Hey, there's the ghost knife. So we had a ghost knife, Ooh. guys. There he is. Beautiful, healthy He's ghost knife. Lounging in the grass. And we had, what do we have? Uh, three plecos. Check out this pleco. A bunch of convicts. A bunch of convicts. Maybe a fire mountain thing. Did you uh, put the convicts in here or no? I sure did. Oh, they're in this all tank? All the big ones are here. I didn't have anything. They're all in here? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. So the convict cichlids are right here. You can see them hanging out right there. Look at them. So all of those convict cichlids, the pleco, which uh, took off, and the ghost knife, which is right back here, super healthy, nice size. What do you think it is, Austin? About five inches? Yeah, probably five inches. About five inches. And then we got the red devil. Let's go take a look at the red devil. I think he's getting drip acclimated over here. Oh yeah, there's some more in here too. You can see them all. You can see the red devil, he kind of blends in with the bucket. He's right there, but we're gonna wait and uh, see him get added. Which tank is he going in? Uh, he's probably gonna go up there. Oh, he's gonna go up here, cool. Whoo, we're outside. I love the water hyacinth. Maybe we'll get like, maybe three pieces of water hyacinth for the pond. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Let's see if any of these are blooming. No, I don't see any promising blooms. Look at the fish, they are just thriving out here. Oh, look. Look who it is, it's Franklin, the cicada tortoise. Look at him. Oh my gosh, what the heck is that? Oh! It smells like poop in here. Franklin, is that you, buddy? Watch out, he's gonna bite you. Watch out, he's making a U-turn. He said, don't touch my shell. Don't touch my shell. What's up, Franklin? What's up, buddy? How's it going? Uh, don't step in it. Don't step in your doo-doo. Don't step in your doo-doo. No! Oh, he just missed it. We're about to release the Red Devil slash Midas Cichlid. You guys, 
go ahead and leave a comment. See if it's a Midas or a Red Devil. Let's go see. Our boy Austin's gonna net him and stick him in his tank. There he goes. Big Red Devil, watch him splash. Splash zone, splash zone. He's girthy. Oh, he did a twofer. Oh, there he goes, cool. Wow, look how pretty, guys. Check him out. A beautiful, healthy, what do you think it is? Midas or Red Devil? Red Devil, come on down, guys. Guys are pets. Come save this guy. He's beautiful, he's healthy. Look at him, look at the color. Beautiful orange. Fins are beautiful, intact. He's a beautiful fish. He wants your assistance. Some big, healthy convicts, man. Good thing you guys don't have convicts, though, huh? No, we actually are kind of low. Oh, that's good. Come on down, guys. If you guys want some nice convict cichlids, come on down to Geyser Pets. Look at that. Sorry, Austin. Beautiful convict cichlids. So many of them. What are there, like 15 of them? I thought there was 10. It was so hard to count. Did it go in the bag? Well, because he, the, these ones are a little bit big for what he's doing. I want to start them on something a little bit smaller. They're a little beat up from travel. You still want to I mean, it's totally up to you. Yeah, give these guys a couple days. They'll be ready to go. Is that the last one? Oh, there you go. Oh, these are two little small ones. Ooh -wee. Oh, that's a nice one there you got there. Oh, yes. Nice one, Blake. Look at him. Look at the convict. Convict community. Convict music. All right, guys. So come on down to Geyser Pets. Rescue the fish that I just dropped off. Beautiful red devil. A bunch of convict cichlids. By the time you see this video, it'll be probably a couple days. There's about three plecos too as well. A ghost knife fish too. Beautiful ghost knife fish. Come on down and see my boy Austin. He'll hook you up, all right? Other than that, we're gonna head home because Austin just actually gave me some fish. So we'll do a big reveal at the house. I'll see you guys at home. Boom, just like that, we are home. Wait till you see these two fish that I got for Tiki Falls. I fell in love. I saw him and I told Jeff, I gotta have that fish. So uh, thanks to Jeff, thanks to the whole crew at Geyser Pets. Thank you guys. They actually blessed me with two beautiful fish. And uh, I'm super excited to show you guys. So before we do, you know what we gotta do. The new fish dance. Cue the music. <laughs> All right, my Ohana, look at these gems. This koi here I absolutely love. It's got the orange head. It's got the black like dots of speckles of Jinrin at the top. You see that? I love this viewing container. And then look at this beauty. You know what that is? You may think it's a koi, but it's not. That is a Shubunkin goldfish. You know the two little ones? You remember Keys, Joey and Keys? Remember them? This is a full grown I would say it's an adult, but look at the colors. That black and red, are you kidding me? But not only that, Ohana, check it out. I'm gonna grab this container and pull it closer so you can actually see this Shubunkin is actually blind. It has no eyes, it was born that way. Look at where the eyes would be, completely Gone. Austin over at Geyser Pets already named him for me. His name is Daredevil. You remember the blind superhero? He is completely blind, so I'm really curious on how he's gonna navigate through here. Don't worry, I've, I've already acclimated them for about 30 minutes, so they are good to go. So I don't want you guys to think, man, you didn't even acclimate your fish. I totally did. I'm actually getting ready to release them right now. So. Without further ado, Ohana, here we go, slowly. Go ahead, guys, whenever you're ready. 
Oh, there goes Daredevil. I haven't figured out a name for this koi here. So if you guys down in the comments, Ohana, want to name him, feel free. Go out, buddy. Go out. There you go. Look at him. I know you guys may be curious on how I'm going to feed him. He probably has some really good senses. Oh, there he is. Next to Preston, the orange koi. Man, he is fast. Look at him. Ooh, wait till he uh, realizes there's a canal right here and he can go to that side. All right, Ohana, now that he's settled in, I had to throw some food in to see uh, if he would take a bite. And of course, he just came to life. Look at him. I wanted to see how he was gonna navigate to uh, get food. And he has no problems. His senses, I tell you, are so keen. As soon as that food hit the surface, he was immediately up top looking for it, smelling it. And uh, yeah, I don't have to worry about him. I was really concerned about having to babysit him as I'm feeding the fish, you know, but uh, he, he's gonna get his. I don't have to worry about him. And then I got some uh, video of the white cloud and gold cloud minnows. They're doing great. They're loving it. Swimming around. They bring so much life to the pond too, which I so love. Yeah. But this guy here, my special needs, Shubunkin goldfish, so healthy, so beautiful. He's on this side right now. And he has swam to the other side too, so he can navigate through that little canal to the other side here where all of his, uh, I guess his new friends are. But they all get along. He's constantly swimming around. So, you know, I think he has to, just to know his surroundings. But uh, he, he doesn't bump too many edges or corners. He's very, like I said, his senses are super keen, being that he has no eyes, which is super rare. And I love that. I love that about them. Well, my Ohana, that is it. Big shout out to Geyser Pets once again. Thank you guys for the two beautiful fish for Tiki Falls. A big shout out to Jenna, my neighbor. You can see, look at my boy, it was a long day. Look at that. Your boy's just putting in some work, man. Ooh, not only that though, but it's like 102 degrees today. So other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, all right? Love you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video, all right? Much love and aloha.